Hello there, this is uh, Melek, and welcome to episode 31 of my Failing at Satellite Rain. As you can see, we are pretty much leaving, sh we're going straight in from the last episode, um, without even a breath, because I can't save the game while it's like this anyway. I'm going to head there. Because this, this area seems to be a, a decent enough staging area, you know? Okay, we have our people in. We've uh, we've stolen one lot of schematics, which I'm actually now going to go and research. That would be good. Extended plasma canisters. Okay, that's 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 cool. But what else have we got? Yeah, because we with the the plasma. No, is it a laser sniper rifle? It is a blueprint. We don't even need to reverse engineer it. That's the the beauty of it. Okay, I'm going to research the plasma canisters, because we can. It's not going to cost us much. In fact, we're still going to make a profit. It's only costing us four per second, and we've got eight per second income. So, plasma canisters will not slow down. Well, it'll slow down our increase of wealth, but it won't, uh, it won't annihilate it. I am going to get everybody through this event. It's just nice and secure up here, you know? I'm going to position them all here. From here, we need to figure out where we... Whoa, look at that! I, I like the fact that they've added this new dynamic, this, this toxic gas thing. This is where the eye and lung thing comes in handy, I bet. Because you could just wander in there, eye and lung, and you'd probably be fine. It's, it's good. Um, so, let's have a little look. Mission control. We have these blueprints, so we don't need to worry about that anymore. So what's this? Research and development. Oh. So, the Eternals love their augmentations, which means the whole grid's peppered with research and development facilities. I should have read these more, I think. One lab always stands out as a juicy target, though. And we're about to hit it. There are rumors about all sorts of nasty stuff in this joint. Illegal human experiments, for starters. But no one's been able to make the charges stick. Eternal's lawyers just freeze everything up in courts. Well, we don't need courts. We need our augmentations. If we can crack their outer security, the scientists in charge should be easy pickings. Get your infiltrator inside, and we can make a real killing here. Okay, that's, that's cool. Infiltrator. It's one of the most difficult ones, because there's no easy way in. Let's purchase extra information. What are we going to get? What, what juiciness are we going to get out of this? Um... Wet caught water coolant systems. Is that it? Really? Oh, okay. Doesn't seem... Maybe it gives us more stamina or something. I don't know. But wet corp. Sounds like wet wear, you know? Like, not, not wetting yourself, but... <laughs> okay, so. It looks to me like... Wow. Um, this research and development area is going to be a pain to get into. We need someone with an iron lung, really. Or someone very fast. In fact, yeah, look how long that's open for. Yeah, we don't actually... We just You could run through that dead easy. How do we get in there, though? Down here? So are we going to need to... Head round here. Oh, good grief, this is going to be a pain. This is going to be a real pain. We could do with that attack. You know what? That's what we're going to do. We're going to go outside. We're going to go to one of those little um, node things, you know? Um, we can't fast transport from here, if you know what I mean. Um, but I think we need to get out, upgrade our tech, maybe get someone with an iron lung, could be useful. Um, but yeah, basically, that's what we're going to do. Ah, oh, there's so many um, soldiers wandering around at the moment. Eh, it doesn't matter.
So we're going to hide there for a bit. Because we don't want to get spotted. Recover stamina. Because that's what we like to do. Look at them all, though. Yeah, if only you two knew, huh? If you knew how close. Okay, soldier, go. I should have checked the other end, but it doesn't matter. There we go. So, we have autosave successful. We need to go to one of our little uh, yeah, be beacons. So, here we go. We now have loadout opportunity time. Skills first. Skills first. Oh yeah, we've got everybody can do pack mule. And I am totally pack muling everyone. Because... Hmm... Here's a question. Is it worth... Because the thing is, is that the, the, the Infiltrator obviously doesn't need a cloak because, you know, got his inbuilt cloak. So do I improve his innate cloak? Okay, well, here's the next question. What is the difference between the Mark I and the Mark II? Reduce stealth energy drain by 30%. Whereas... This cloak it's not it appears as though it's not as good. See, I could get the cloak instead of the pack mule for this guy. It's cheaper. Or I could just accept that his cloak is gonna end up falling by the wayside, you know what I mean? And um That is a shame. If that is the case, that is a big shame. I mean, really. It's a lot of money, though, for, for the cloaks. We need to upgrade the, the clones as well. The clones are a good idea. Okay, soldier. You currently have that, which is pretty crap. I think that you don't need speed... Wow, but to be honest, a lot of them are just fast anyway. And, yeah. Apply. Support, dude. Yeah. We don't want to degrade the stats. Wow, look at that. Yeah, we, we don't care about you because you're rubbish. And you're fairly rubbish, to be honest. And you're definitely rubbish. Let's get rid. Anything that's that's, that's, that's very rubbish. I know if they, they end up dying, they lose some, don't they? Or, or something like that. Shall we say... That's you. The hacker. That's such a good clone. Blanca Bush. Let's give... No. Let's give Blanca Bush to the infiltrator. And the hacker currently has no stats. Wow. That, that's a terrible clone. So that's a speedy clone, but not very healthy. And that's a relatively good clone, the, 20, the 2014 one. 
A 15, 14 is not great. 25. Does the hacker need to be fast? Preferably. Preferably. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, that clone has basically nothing now. Health 9, no speed boost. Get rid. But yeah, what we need to do is um, keep on hacking soldiers. I mean, the soldiers are great. They're powerful, you know. Um, skills. We still have yet to decide. I think pack mule. I think pack mule then. I mean, the or, or this. I mean, you get speed boost, sniper damage while set up, which is an extra th oh, good grief. We need to then set up the sniper in sniper position more often. Cash steel, not so great. Melee attack. Astro Assassin, I would say, yeah, we just need to do the setup a bit more often. Um, next question, I suppose, is if I did buy gear, what would I actually equip you with? Ammo vest, attack drones, healing wand. Eh, all these things are possible. It would be useful. It would definitely be useful. Body armor. Everyone can have a proxy hacker. Do you know what I mean? I, I, I think pack mule. I think pack mule's the way to go. Oh, because uh, I've already just assigned. Yeah. So, everybody now can carry three things. Stealth generators are brilliant. We like stealth generators. Um, our support guy. Well, we could give you some body armor. There's be near a beacon. Well, we're right literally there, next to a fucking beacon. It kind of lost us for a bit then, didn't it? And then you, you could get body armor as well. I'd almost be tempted to go pack me all again for everybody. I mean, ammo packs. Every soldier needs bullets. Standard issue ammo pack is where you'll find them. Huh. So that says I don't hmm. How many times can people replenish their ammo from an ammo pack? You know what I'm saying? No idea. <laughs> the sonic grenade. This little gem is great for drawing the attention of nearby patrols by projecting a sound not entirely unlike that of a dying giraffe. <laughs> what? How does a... Why do they... What does he... You know what? I don't know. And sound dampening. See, these these are cool little, little widgets, which are nice. They're cool little widgets. Uh, next, next thing. Stealth generators. Stealth generator mark twos all round. Ah, oh, the cost. The cost! We've got spare stealth generators. Can't wait till we get better shielding, I tell you. That would be quite cool. Okay, so, everyone's got body armor and shields and a cloak. Except our infiltrator. He doesn't have body armor or a cloak because he's got his own cloak. Instead, he's got a proxy hacker. And shields, obviously. Question is, do I give you body armor? It'll make you more survivable. Could also give you other stuff, though. Could almost give the... You know what? We do get into a lot of fights. And in fairness, it's not that expensive, is it? It really, really isn't that expensive. Oh, I've kind of removed the shields. Nope. Equips the shields and now equips the body armor. Oh, it bothers me that it does. 
Ah, things are rearranging. I don't want things to rearrange like that. I'm sorry, it was it was causing me issues. So stealth generator, no. Proxy hacker, yes. Then we go the shielding. No. Shielding. Body armor. Now my autism is happy. Okay, so, gear is equipped. Uh, gear is done, should I say. We have various weapons. You've got a sniper rifle, but you don't really use it that much. I think I might just give the heavy... Because now that we've got... In fact, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Laser minigun, anyone? Now, lasers are good against shields. So, what I think would be worth doing is we remove that we remove that we then purchase a laser minigun for you huh yeah and then what would be good for damage versus arm all the shotguns is generally good and that sniper rifle's good here's a question for you though the laser minigun. I mean, I mean, look at it! What the hell? That, 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 you, look at the size of it! Okay, you've got a laser minigun. <laughs> what, what can I actually add to it that's going to make it even worse? Uh, weapon accuracy, 6% increase. Oh, good grief. Um, or extended ion batteries. Weapon clip increase. Oh, it's just sexy, isn't it? It's just it's just a little bit too sexy. And why is my scrolling gone to like super slow mode? I just have to grab it to scroll it. Yeah. Um The soldier eight is immune to these effects. So basically, yeah. Soldier can, can carry that because the soldier is badass. It does it does a lot less damage versus Armor versus inorganics. What's the difference between inorganics and armor then? Because surely armor is inorganic. I'm guessing inorganics are like droids and things. I have no idea. I, that's droid health. So that's... I don't know. But to be fair, when you're talking about... Well, about 40 damage per second. Okay. What's the assault rifle got? Not 40 damage per second on, well, I mean, it, it gets it gets about 30, but the accuracy has got to be taken into account. Let's make the, let's like make the laser minigun more accurate then. Laser targeting, or just to hell with it, and just, yeah, just put the batteries in. Yeah, just plug these batteries in. There we go. Your secondary slot. <laughs> um, let's give you back, give you an assault rifle as your second slot. Um, the assault rifle is this? It's a laser. I didn't actually. It's not a laser sight. It's a normal size. Ah, oh, because yeah, it's it. Yeah, yeah. The targeting mechanism is laser. High impact rounds. <laughs> well, you've got two guns. You don't really need extended clips. That's the beauty of this. I mean, with two guns. Who cares? You've got lots of ammo. Okay, we have our support, who has got a laser repeater as a sidearm and an assault rifle. I would say that that's pretty much, pretty much as you should be. Extended clips, laser silencer. Everyone's got silencer type stuff. The hacker is very much the same as the support guy. Assault rifle, extended clips, laser repeater with a silencer. Nothing particularly crazy about that. 
finally infiltrator will you have a lance sniper rifle oh no 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 i do not believe that that is the best choice for you anymore if we look at the lance sniper rifle let's confirm what my theory is it's a sensible theory the confirmation is the sniper rifle has got the same accuracy as the laser sniper rifle it's got 0.7 shots a second so it's firing what like three shots every four seconds or something it does a lot of damage that's a lot of damage however uh -huh, however this oh damage versus shield goes through the roof arm is not so good slightly faster fire rate about the same damage, but the damage versus shield and, and, and droids, I'm guessing that's what inor the, the inorganics means, is, you know, droids, robots, that kind of thing. Yeah, you, you're going to grab that. Um, and then let's increase your weapon range, shall we? What's this? An ideal modification you want to suppress targets quietly. So it fires a single slug, which detonates a localized, highly concentrated EMP blast. Interesting. Or... Silencer. I might just put a silencer on it. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, let's ninja stealth it. Okay, we've done the clones. We've done the weapons. We've done the gear. We've not done augmentations, because we've done the skills. Um, unless the soldier has something that costs two, which will be useful. Mm. Eh. Eh. When the skin is pierced, nanobots rush to the blah, blah, blah. Nothing that jumps out. Nothing that jumps out at all. So finally, those few bits of augmentation that we've gained. So we've got the cranial plating. The soldier doesn't really need to use their abilities. You know, so firewall's probably not as useful. We could, instead of giving your body plating, we could give you an iron lung. Immune to poison. Or you could just run fast. It would be useful. I mean, okay. 10 health and 10 armor. Okay. Well, the gear, right? The body armor gives you 60 armor. So that's 60 points of damage absorption if you get it. Whereas the other one's 20. So, the ability to use high vents, I'm beginning to think maybe sacrificing that small bit of armor and health actually would be worth it. I, I think I'm going to give everybody these, except obviously the infiltrator, because the infiltrator doesn't need it. But, yeah, I, I, I think that would be the better choice. We don't have anything for the arms other than the the. the, the plating ones. The iron lung I'm still unsure about. I'm thinking about the soldier not having the plating in the skull either. I mean, we can do the dodgy stuff. I mean, there's no point having that. This increased dodging chance. You know what? And the ocular upgrade. Do we really need the ocular upgrade when we've got the opportunity to give you something that gives you the same thing and more. <laughs> there we go. We have... We have re-equipped everything now. Um, we've got... Research... Is... Well, it's either done or it's in progress. We've re-equipped everybody. And now... We just need to go back in there. Get our infiltrator in there. And hey, presto. Right, I'm going to call it. That's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm, I'm starting to enjoy it more. Um, I think waiting around that time, a few episodes back, and gathering all the money and doing all the research has really helped. 
Um, checking my key bindings. That has helped a lot. <laughs> Honestly, those bloody key bindings, I tell you. Um, what kind of game is default? Why am I moving around? What kind of game is default means that it maps the attack key to the A, which an A, and bear in mind the arrow keys on the keyboard, they don't do anything, okay? So the only way to move around the map is to move your, your mouse to the edges, and who does that these days with a keyboard and mouse, seriously? I wish you could disable that sometimes, it's very frustrating. Um, so it's Wasad, it's, 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 it's Wasad, it's Wast, whatever you want to call it. It's the way it goes. So no, you press A and it attacks! What the hell? <sighs> okay, I'm enjoying the game again. It was a bit bit wobbly a few episodes back, but you know what? I'm back into it. I'm sorry they're not being posted as often, but you know, XCOM. <clears throat> what? <laughs> it's fun. So uh, anyway, I'm going to bid you, bid you farewell. Until next time. Cheerio.